Yo, what's up everybody? It's the big cat and we're here. We've got some uh, Wild of Eldrains, uh, Wilds of Eldrain <laughs> draft boosters. And, you know, we're unloading the cases and this one's a little banged up. So, you know, not always the prettiest for resale. So I figured, why don't we open one? We've only done some collectors and I thought this set was really cool. And to open it at this point's pretty interesting because you know the new set's out, Ixalan, and uh, we'll, we'll get we'll get there. Um, but the interesting thing about this set too is uh, draft boosters, which we don't normally do. So we're gonna go fast. But also, this set has some cool uh, money uncommons in it. Actually, up the beanstalk is uh, you know uh, three bucks right now. So interesting set. You know, not necessarily chasing those, but still some good mythics. You know, beseech the queen and Agatha Soul Cauldron, um, hitting some hitting some nice prices right now too. And you know, this will be in standard for a while, so it'll be cool. And I loved what I did with the collector's boosters. So just kind of want to open some more of these and uh, check them out. Cause uh, yeah, I really dig this set and it just kind of went by in a flash. So we're going to go through these real quick draft boosters. So the huge token, beautiful full art land there and foil right on top. Very nice, very nice. And it looks, I didn't know these could be in here. So one of the enchanted tails right in the draft booster, beautiful spreading seas. And our first rare is Huntsman's Redemption, so nothing too flashy there. And we are going to check our uncommons real quick, because there's a couple uh, good uncommons. I'm not sure if Stroke of Midnight's another one of them, but uh, there's a couple. We're definitely looking out. There's the uh, Confectioner, Experimental Confectioner, is one of the uh, uncommons we're looking for. As I believe uh, Stroke of Midnight might be one of them, but the, um, uh, Up the Beanstalk is another one. Oh. We got backs on backs. There we go. Token. Swamp. Leyline of Lightning. Nice. These are in the draft packs, too. I didn't realize that. That makes these draft packs pretty nice. That You can pull those uh, Enchanted Tails. And there's a Pollen Shield hair. Not much to say there with our little fart. But there's a beautiful Up to Beanstalk. So, you know, that's actually kind of a hit. Ruby, Archive Dragon. Put those over there. And there we go. There's our commons. So, very nice. No list slot, but... You know, the days of magic are changing, so it'll be cool to look back on these in the future because, you know, the what a booster box means is going to change once again. Another full art land. Really, I do really like these. I know some people kind of burnt out and... Ooh, beautiful. Anime Polluted Bonds. Let's go. That's awesome. Wow. Anime Enchanted Tale. Like, that's great. Or manga, whichever. I guess it is a drawing. It's not animated. It doesn't move. But uh, beautiful. Wow. Polluted Bonds. Awesome. And Agatha Soul Cauldron. What a hit. Guys, That that's a great pack. I don't know Polluted Bonds off the top of my head, but when it's those animes in a rare, I'd say it's a few bucks generally. So with Agatha's, that's, hey, that's a $40 pack right there. We'll just put those over here in our little hits pile because, yeah, I want to say that's a hit. Look through, succumb to the cold. That with our beanstalk is the real one. The other one, uh, the other big rare that we're hyped to see is Questing Druid. You know, some people expect the Questing Druid is slowly creeping up. He's in the like five or six dollar range. Ooh, Royal. Oh, oh, these Rolls tokens. Love that. And the collector's boosters, they don't publish that. So it's very cool to see. Nice little mountain. Second foil, fairy fencing. Griffin Airy, not bad. And a horned lock whale. Love the beautiful story frame. See that returned. And there we go. Boom, nothing too flashy there, but you know what? For a draft booster pack, not bad at all. It's pretty, we're, you know, we're off to a hot start with that box. I mean, the Agathas and the uh, polluted bonds, really nice. We can get a few uncommons and we're actually gonna see some good EV on a box, which is kind of new for magic these days. Raid Bombardment, just fine. Three blind mice, cute little card. Put those in our rare pile. Greta, Sweet Tooth, Knight of Droves, Fairy Dream Thief. And again, dope set, really cool flavor. It's gonna be really cool to see as they add with Ixalan and then what the next big tentpole sets are, standard kind of evolved because, you know, it hasn't changed too much yet. I'm hoping Ixalan's gonna bring some new archetypes. I've, uh, there's been so much CCG to pay attention to lately. Um, sorcery, you know, if you check out the channel, we've, uh, at the time of recording, there is going to be, ooh, compulsion. Um, Restless Bivouac with the full art, not bad, not bad. Not necessarily the full art you want, but you know, in this set, the big hits are the big hits. They don't really change too much, so not bad there at all. There we go, Agatha's Champ, and 
some commons there. I don't know that there's like a hot common here yet, but you never know. Every once in a while with long standard, it pays to go through your bulk boxes and sell some standard hits if you can get a few bucks out of them. Does you know nothing like turning a bunch of bulk into a an extra box on a boring weekend. Karmic Justice, very nice, cool art too. Love the love the art on this Karmic Justice Commander staple. And the Iron Crag, not bad. I think the price is retracted a little bit on this. I remember around launch, this was worth a few bucks more, but this might be holding on to a dollar or two. Not quite the hit. Red Tooth Vanguard, Twisted Sewer Witch, Sheree of Numbing Depths, a Merfolk Wizard. Interesting, a little splash white there. Are we going to see Bant, Bant's uh, Merfolk when uh, Ixalan drops? Let's find out. Beautiful human token. Love the art on that. Another beautiful planes. Again, I do like these lands. I especially like this planes. You know, a lot of color integrated in there with the dark prophetic prism. Not a bad foil. Season of growth. Just fine. Rankles prank. Or better than Prankles rank, I guess. And two-headed hunter. The princess takes flight and taken by nightmares. All right. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Boy. It's been a while since we've opened a draft booster on the channel, so there's quite a few packs. We're going to go through it quickly. We're going to go through it quickly, neatly and completely, like like Mama Big Cat always used to say as a kid. Swamp. Waste Knot. Beautiful art on that. Waste Knot. Love that. Waste Knot. Really fun card for Commander. Again, that's just a fun one. And we'll drop you here. And Godric, Cloaked Reveler. You know, I don't think that's done much. And Celebration, cool ability. I bet it's killer and limited, but hasn't made much waves. I think it's kind of just meh. Callous Sellsword and the Ice Rot Century. Oh, that's not where those go. We're going to have lots of bulk by the time we're done. But let's keep rocking and rolling, folks. So, yeah, it's, it's very cool to open this. It's been a while. We've been doing sorcery, like I said, and a lot of Pokemon lately. So it's nice to just get back to our roots and magic. Oh, that token... I might have winged that one, or that one might have gotten hit in the pack. Stab wound. Love the art on these. Love this little, little guy. Tale for the Ages. Enchanted creatures you control. You know, I, I see this becoming like a, a little bit of a sorceress, or sorry, sorceress, enchantress card, possibly, in Commander in the future. Cheap, a pump, plays off the synergy. Not amazing, but not bad. A bulk, a bulky, for sure. Not a bulky, but a bulky. Scream Puff, some great art in this. Evil food, who knew, who knew? Lord of the Rings. Oh my gosh, I do that so often now. Sorry guys, don't mean to bump the camera. The camera, let's keep it going. A little rat token on top, cute. Island, shared animosity. Another great card, I do like to run this. I run this in like a very heavy goblins uh, Perforos Commander deck, so great card, I'm gonna probably swap that in. Sir Ginger, here's another nice rare. He's worth a few bucks these days. He's getting around, he's he's doing his thing, so we'll put that over in our little hits pile, you know? Maybe the Iron Crag's worth more than him, but I don't think it is anymore. I think the Iron Crag's cooled off. We've opened enough of them. Greta, Tough Cookie, and the Dutiful Griffin. There's our Armory Mice. Minstrosity is wild. Look at these beautiful cards in this set. Like, love this set's vibe. Spell Stutter. That's such a beautiful thing. Calls back to uh, Counterbalance. Totally a riff on Counterbalance there. With that blue and fire action. Fairy. That's a great fairy token. Swamp. Very nice land. And Breath. Veteran. So, so far, nothing hot in our uh, foil slot. Necro. Very nice. You know, we're going to say that's another hit. Necropo necropotence. Necropotence is what we used to call it when I was a kid. But look at the sick art on this. Um, Abigail Larson. Love your work, Abigail. Keep killing it. That's so sick. Like, the thing I love the most is his hand. But there we go, Necro. So we're on a pretty good box here. And then an Ingenious Prodigy. Not bad. A cute card. Skulk, I think, is a cool ability. I hope it gets in more sets. It plays so well in Limited. It's so fun. Um, yeah, I don't know about Ingenious Prodigy, but I do know about Skulk, Eerie Interference, Fairy Dream Thief, and Tenacious Tome Seeker. And there we go to our commons and uncommons there. Rat out, cat out, gad out. All right. Human. Mountain. Hatching plans. 
cool Somniphage. Great art. Interesting card when it was teased. I just don't think this has a home. You know, mill? Are we gonna eventually break into mill and standard again? I remember when there was the kind of the drown in the lock graceful takedown. The drown in the lock kind of lock out midnight watchtower. Wasn't that the, uh, or midnight clock tower or whatever that, that card was? There was kind of that mill deck for a while there in the, uh, sort of, uh, Kaldheim Eldring standard, if anybody remembers that. Kind of on the back of Rogues with Ruin Crab as well. And kind of, there was a couple variants there where you could play some mill a couple years ago, effectively. Raid Bombardment. Not bad. Virtue of Strength. Uh, Virtue. Those are all great. Virtue of Strength, not the highest one. I think uh, Blue, Black, White are kind of the hot ones, but uh, not bad. Virtue. We'll drop that over in our little pick slot there. Disdainful Stroke, Galvanic Blast, and a Twisted Sewer Witch. Just the rest. Always check. You never know. You know, it's fun. You guys have seen me open, I don't know, over 100 boxes on the channel now. I've o certainly opened many more in my life. Nice little food token. Very gross. Very Resident Evil 7. Or... Six village? What was the one with the gross family? Anyways, grasp heart. Grasp of fate, grasp heart. But I love this art. You know, great art there. The goose mother. Um, I was gonna say, gosh, what was I gonna say? I've never opened a god pack. Never seen a god pack. Like I've seen a pack have sick hits or like three mythics, but I've never opened one of these where it's got like beyond stated coalition. <laughs> so we'll see. Tempest Heart, Twisted Fealty, Knight of Droves. Garrick's Uprising after a beautiful island and Tangled Colony. Disgusting and scary. Real life Rat King. Don't like that idea at all. Three Bowls of Porridge. A Picklock Prankster. That's a great fairy name. Give a little give a little holiday bonus to whoever named that card. All right, we're doing it, guys. We're going to do it. A 30-minute 30 30 minute draft booster box. I know people do it faster. I don't get how they do it. Like, how do you look at each card? A little foil grasp of fate would have been nice to see something different in that slot because that's in our foil slot but no problem dragon mantle pollen shield hair again second little shield hair we've seen and that's a hearth elemental ashy ox sweeper and a glass casket love glass casket love the name love the reprint great to go back to eldraine and see that like cool card I did it. I'm a glass casket fan human great human token we're going to keep those Mountains, feed the cauldron. In you go, kiddo. Utopia Sprawl, nice card. Always takes me back to the uh, dope Genesis Wave Nykthos Crater Hoof combo deck I used to play. Love that card. Red Cap Gutter Dweller. What's the next big set with goblins, guys? What's the next set that's going to get this guy popping off? He seems cool, right? I mean, it's a big goblin, 3-3 three, three Menace for four, though. And when he enters the battlefield, create two rats. And sacrifice another creature. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on him. And exile the top card of your library, and you can play it. I mean, that's juice. If you got the right deck, like, let's go. A little red token generating deck, possibly. Okay. Let's keep going. Not quite halfway through the box, but getting there. Man, so many human token. What's on the back of those? Just hot new reprints of all your favorite deck master cards. What? Oh, secret layer. Deck master. What the heck is that? Forest. Bramble familiar, so a little foil rare. Not necessarily the foil rare you want to see. Would have been nice to see Agatha's Cauldron or Beseech the Queen or Questing Druid in that slot, but it's okay. We'll take it. Foil. Copy enchantment. You may have copy enchantment or the bell fills a copy of any enchantment. A little awkward that it's in blue, but again, Enchantress, Enchantress player. And that's our girl, Abigail Larson. Again, crushing it with the art. Look at that. Sick. Sick lines. Love that. Restless Spire. Not bad. We take lands. Dream spoils. Back for seconds. Boy, have not seen the experimental confectioner and only one up the beanstalk so far. Money uncommons are such a tease. But sometimes you guys know, you can have three or four of the same uncommon in a box. Sometimes. It's rarely the one that's worth money. Leyline of the Void. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Leyline of the Void. Classic one. We'll move that over the hits. That's worth a buck or two. Heartflame Duelist. Such a cool card. It's going nowhere, but such a cool card. Flaming Swords, 3-1, cool abilities, decent body. Back for seconds. Here we go. On an 
adventure. Love the art on that. Love that there's like an adventure zone. Gorgeous card. Man, I've got a little wing dinged. Luckily, mostly it's the tokens. I don't know if that's me, the way I'm opening the pack. Hopefully not. We'll, we'll have to check the tape. Johan's stopgap. Leyline of Abundance. Hey, not bad. If Leyline of Abundance is your opening hand, it may begin. Whenever you tap a land for mana, add a green. I mean, what a killer open. Hey, that's sick. We'll, uh, we'll consider that. I mean, I don't know the last time I saw Leyline of Abundance in person. So, sorry guys. It was just adjusting the camera base. Decadent Dragon. Boy, there was so much hype on this guy. I thought he was cool, but... I don't think anybody cares. Abira, Dreaming Duelist. Frolicking Familiar. Very cute little Otter Wizard and a Chancellor of Tales. And there we go to our commons. Okay. Bring it home. We're going to try not to damage our token. How about that? How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Hewen. Swamp. Knightly Valor. Asinine Antics, what do we got here? A Mythic, you may cast it as though it had flash. If you pay two more, that's six. For each creature your opponent's control, create a cursed roll. Okay, so it's a big wide curse. Probably legit and limited. I don't know if you can get away with casting that in Constructed. I'll be honest, Curse Courier, and there we go. No, no, no biggies in the slot. Let's see what we got. Is it Cursed Courtier or is it the uh, Experimental Confectioner, I think is the uncommon we're looking for these days. I bet that has something to do with all these great uh, Demir, Rakdos, and uh, Grixis builds that have just been dominating standard for what, the last two years, year and a half, <laughs> since since before Sheoldred and forever after. Island, Curiosity, again, Abigail Larson. Love it. Killing the art. So great. Reminds me of some of the art of the uh, Urashima Taro, if you're familiar with that story. Lord Skitter. Fun little legend. We'll hold on to him for time being, because you know what? He's going to show up in, in decks in the future. Little Embereth veteran. Troyan. Gutsy Explorer. And the Witch's Vanity on a saga. Boom. Let's keep it rocking. Keep it rocking in the free world. Monster Sorcerer. Mountain. Ooh, foil, Leyland of Anticipation. Not bad, we're hitting these ley lines tonight. This has been a pretty good box so far. Foil ley line? Yeah, we'll have to check that out later, but three ley lines, anime polluted bonds, Agatha's, decent, decent. Song of Totentons. He's kind of the um, Pied Piper of the block. Ego Drain, Shrouded Shepherd, Stroke of Midnight. There we are. Very light on the mythics. So far, too. So we'll see how this box does, you know. Um, but pretty light on Mythic so far. Island Ground Seal, not bad. Yena, Red Tooth Agent, Red Tooth Regent. Excuse me. Hearth Elemental, Dream Spoilers, and Agatha's Champion. All right. Here we go. I think we're down to the last ten. The last ten. There's a rat. There's a forest. Another foil though. Foil Full Art Will Sign of Peace. Not bad. You know what? I'm happy with that. That's like a cool, you know, if you're going to get your show showcase, there's a mythic, it's foil, it's showcase. And he's a cool part of the story. And he's pretty fun. Like I, I still want to pe see people brew more of these commanders. I think blue white's one of those commander colors that has some strong ones, but like, are you going to play Augustine Grand Arbiter and play stacks? You know, so I think giving them fun stuff spells you cast this turn that are white and blue cost X less where X is the amount of life you gained. Like this, this, that plays into so much great synergy and lets you kind of start to play into like big blue on top of life gain or some control, you know, like a three drop as well with vigilance. Hey, not a bad commander at all. Vampiric Rites, cool art on that. I'll try to block the glare for you folks. Sleep Cursed Fae. Not bad, not a bad little pack there. Monstrous Rage, Gingerbread Hunter. And that's all we got, okay. Well, oh, you can see. You might not even hit two of the money uncommons, but let's see. We're on an adventure. See, that one got winged a little bit there. Swamp. Blind Obedience. Another big hit. Beautiful card. Love the art on that. Love Blind Obedience. You know, it's a kismet with extort. Like, money, right? This card and that will card. Let's throw those in a laurel. Let's go to town. Beautiful hit. Love that. Hornlocked Whale. You might be sitting at home and you're like, dude, anytime it's like a moderately playable enchantment from that... Uh, 
tails thing this guy puts in his hip pile. Because it is Iriot's tempting apple. Oh, cheeky house mouse. Let's get that card. I've got I've got a a friend who's adopted that nickname since then. The cheeky house mouse. Alright, boom. Planes. Picklock prankster in foil. Not bad. We're hitting quite a few foils down here at the end. Garuk. Feral encounter. Picnic ruiner. That's a great little goblin. Ego drain. Galvanic giant. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got. We're rounding the bed. Here, baby. We're rounding the bed. Ooh. Love the purple. Love the purple packaging. Ooh. Forest. As foretold. Hey, another good one. You know what? As foretold. That's a saucy little one. Definitely another commander. Spice. Blue and two. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a time counter on as foretold, and once each turn, you may pay zero rather than pay the mana cost of a spell with mana value X or less, where X is the number of counters. Let's go. Questing Druid. Very nice. And you know what? Not bad. Another another pack putting us there. Let's see. What, what do we do? What do we got left? What do we got left? This is a decent box so far. Honestly, pretty good. Intangible Virtue. Lich Knight's Conquest. Love the idea of this. You know, I will say I was expecting a little more, and I think it's, I think it kind of leans in the argument for some people who don't love the once one time visit to blocks. They really kind of drew up with the Wilds of Eldrain, the Evil Queen, and these liches, and like we're going back into the spooky forest instead of the kingdoms. But like, I was hoping to see some more of this, and then see maybe even some more synergy, just like with the food with like Nazgul's. And obviously they can't name a creature type Nazgul in this set, but like Shades or Wraiths or Lich Knights, like, you know, I, it, it was just something I was kind of hoping for a little bit more in spoiler season and clearly kind of just barely panned out. Because um, the Evil Knights from both Eldrin sets are cool. Like they, they, they make it so it's not just like kitties story time. Another Ground Seal. Italian, the Kindly Lord. Nice. I don't think he's found a home yet. He has not hit uh, taking Shielder's spot, has he? He's black. He's blue. He's two. He's flying. And when he enters the battlefield, you can choose a number between one and ten when an opponent casts a spell with mana value power or toughness equal to the chosen number. That player loses two life and you draw a card. Now, he will have about a year in standard after Shieldred rotates if she doesn't get banned earlier. And forgive me if you're watching this and you're like, dude, she got banned. I've been exceptionally busy with my day job paying attention to some other stuff, so I'm not sure if he got hit or not. She, Shaeldred, they. Um, but, you know, there's action. Talion is waiting with bated breath to become the cerebral four-drop that changes the game. Howling, Gaddock, Shrouded. Not the one we were looking for, but not bad. Beautiful beast token. Keep that for your uh, beast within for commander. That's gorgeous. Dawn. Dawn of Hope. Whenever you get in life, pay two. You can draw a card. Create a 1-1 one -one with lifelink. That's another great enchantment. This must see play, right? Whenever you gain life, pay two. Like, kind of a mind's eye effect, right? On a white enchantment that costs much less than mind's eye. It's not as cheap, or not quite mind's eye too. What's the card I'm thinking of? Anyways, good card, good card. Charming Scoundrel. Love that. That's, that's what I try to play in Dungeons and Dragons, honestly. Sexy little saucy little scoundrels. You know, flirt your way into trouble, kill your way out, or kill your way into trouble and flirt your way out. That's the uh, Dex, Dex Charisma philosophy of Dungeons and Dragons. All right, here we go. Final pack. We're rounding the corner. We're burning the bend. Boom. Swamp. Cooped up in foil. Cute, cool card. I like the art on that. Compulsion. Compulsion. Compulsion's always had great art, but that's good. Spellbook Fender. You know, I think to see some corner play. Like, I've seen this on some commander lists, white and one. It's a 2-2 Vigilance. It's human, so it's tribed up. And at the beginning of combat on your turn, you may pay one. If you do, put a sorcerer roll. And, uh, yeah. Whenever this creature attacks, scry one. Like, it's not bad. Knight of Sweets, Revenge, Totentaz, Swarm Piper, and beautiful glass casket. Look at that. Look at that awesome art. Beautiful glass casket. Love that card. Okay. Okay. Monster, Sorcerer, 
forest, impact tremors, nothing too hot, sentinel of lost lore, two green one, I don't even know what this guy does, I don't remember, he's an elf knight, so he's a decent, that's a pretty thick elf, you know what I'm saying, three, four, for two green and one, a bodied, when he enters the battlefield, choose one. Return target card you own in exile that has an adventure to your hand. Put target card you don't own in exile that has an adventure on the bottom of your library or exile target player's graveyard. Like, this is an elf utility card, right? Exile target player's graveyard on an elf. Like, you go search him up and pull stuff out. Callus Cell Sword, not quite the ones. Ginger Brute, though, he's cool. Not dead after all. There it is. You can scan that code if you'd like. Just hold your phone up to your phone and take a picture of the phone. Intangible Virtue. Spiteful Hex Mage. He's one black for a 3-2 human warlog. When he enters the battlefield, create a cursed roll token and attach it to target creature. I mean, that's fine. Just drop that on another 1-1. One, one. You know? Yeah, whatever. Spiteful Hex Mage. Not quite a tenacious underdog. Picnic Ruiner, Tanglespan Lookout, and Charay of Numbing Depths. Boom. Okay. Last pack. Let's see. Did we do it? One more big hit in this box, I think, is indeed. Let's see. Let's see. Treasure. Planes. Dark tutelage. Abigail Larson art, though. Sick art on that dark tutelage. Love that. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal the top card of your library. Put that card in your hand. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. And food fight. Not the card we wanted to see either. Corvald. So, Lord Skitter's Butcher. Terrifying. I don't like seeing a rat like that. Okay, so that was our box, folks. Pretty decent one, I will say, kind of in the, what I made up as my little hits pile. Let's go back and check it out. Don Hope, not really, but I think that's got some action. Talion, not bad. Questing Druid, nice. F few bucks there. As Foretold, Blind Obedience, Foil, Full Art Will, Leyline of Anticipation and Foil, very nice. Leyline of Abundance, Leyline of the Void, so three of the five Leylines of Virtue, just one. Necro, very nice. Abigail Larson, Necro Art, Sir Ginger, Anime art, Polluted Bonds, Agatha's Soul Cauldron, and an one up the Beanstalk. So maybe even not hitting EV, but still a good box all in all. Pretty stoked on what we did here. Fun to go back to Wilds just because we hit it with Collector's Boosters launch weekend and haven't been back since. Thank you so much for watching. Pardon the glare. And I hope you guys all have a great night. More magic to come. Peace.